want to demonstrate the next two moves. The first one is short, so I've decided to just combine it with the next one. The first one is called single whip or look past the left hand. We start with a horse stance, the feet facing forward, right hand out, left hand scoop in by the belly. From here, the right hand is going to hook, the left hand is going to come up, and then sweep across as I center my weight. I'm going to do that one more time, a variation that you can do. So the right hand still starting up, left hand's down, I hook, left hand comes up, and I turn the left foot out towards the corner. And I shift into the center, and then push towards the corner. Either version is, is fine. It depends on how you're feeling today, which one you want to do. From here, we're going to do the next move called Snake Creeps Down. So we're starting off, left hand pushing out, right hand still hook. From here, we're going to shift and turn to the left. Right hand's going to come to the elbow. Right foot turns in pigeon toe. I sink down into my right foot. Left foot steps out to the left. So shift forward, left hand comes to the shoulder. Right hand stabs down. And that is snake creeps down. Now, when I take this step out with the left foot, depend how big the step is depends on how much I bend and sink into my right foot. So the deeper I get here, the longer the stance can get. And that depends on my flexibility and strength of my right leg today. I'm going to do that again from a different angle. We start from our horse stance. Left hand out to the corner, right hand hooked. Shift and turn to the left. Right hand comes to the elbow. Right foot turns pigeon toe. Pull down into the right foot. Left foot steps out to a long walking stance. Shift into the left foot. Left hand comes to the shoulder. Right hand stabs down. Snake creeps down. Now I'm going to demonstrate both of them together, smoothing them out so you can see how to flow together. single whip or look past the left hand and 